Hi everyone, so welcome to the medical methods course and today we're going to continue uh, solving scalar nonlinear equation using iterative method and the first method we're going to look at is bisection method. Now um, I've already explained bisection method, the idea is to locate the root using intermediate value theorem. So um, how to how to use bisection method so first we need to find two values the values of um, a and b these are the interval okay then this in this interval must satisfy intermediate value uh, theorem not IDP intermediate value theorem okay so what intermediate value say for the given two function at at the um, interval a and b sorry not two function actually just one function which is function f so at two value of a and b it must be less than zero okay that's the first step the first condition we want to locate the root if this does not satisfy you need to adjust the root okay this is what it means okay once you have located the root the second part is to find the value c now what is c c is another value where can be found by a plus b divided by 2. Okay, having obtained c, now we want to find f of a, f of b, and of course f of c. Okay, this is where we start the iteration. Now, how do we start the iteration? So, we check. This is what we have to check. So the first step will be if f of a multiply with f of c less than 0. Okay, if let's say we multiply f of a with my f of c less than 0, then we set or we let my a remain the same, but my b will change to the value of c. Okay, now A, the other condition will be, so if let's say F of A multiply with F of C, now instead of less than 0, you get greater than 0. This happened, the value of A will change, the value of B remain the same. So this is, this is what we have to do many times. So we do the iteration many times. So once you find out, now again, how do you find C? A plus B over 2. Okay, so once you find that, you check and then you change the value again and then you check again until you satisfy the stopping criteria. So the last step will be the stopping criteria. Now the stopping criteria, again, we know that we want to find the root. So it can be f c equals to 0 or if I give an epsilon value so the epsilon will be very small number so if this satisfy and then you will stop the iteration okay so I hope you get the idea now um, let's uh, Solve. Let's solve one example. Okay, so let's look at one example here. Yeah. So the example that we want to solve is this equation here, where fx equals to x squared minus exponent negative x. Okay, so we are given the interval 0, 1. Okay, so how many iterations? So for this case, let's start with five iterations. So we want to apply five iterations. Okay, so what we know here, we know that this is my A and this is my B. So we want to find the solution when this function here equals to zero. So we want to find the root. At this moment, 
we don't know. This is non-linear equation. We cannot use um, any method that we know to find the root. We can only use iterative methods such as bisection method. Okay, so let's check whether the root exists. It's very important to check whether the root exists. Do you know how can we do that? Intermediate value theorem, which says that a root exists if f of a multiplied with f of b less than 0. Okay, for this given interval. So put it on f of 0 multiplied with f of 1. So what do we have? Um, we have 0 squared minus exponent negative 0 multiply with 1 squared minus exponent negative 1. Okay, this is 0 squared is 0. The e to the power of 0 is 1. So I have negative 1. Okay, now uh, 1 minus exponent negative 1. Okay. So, what if exponent negative 1? If you have a calculator, if you press it, exponent negative 1 is 0 0.36788. Okay. So, 1 minus here will be, this will be positive. So, this will Okay, we don't have to actually multiply because we know that this is positive I mean, negative multiplied with positive will have less than 0. So, good. So, there is a root. Now, we want to find the value of the root. Okay, that's the next step. So, the, um, we proceed to, by finding the root. So, if you recall, we want to find C. Okay, that's our second step. So, this is the first step. C is A plus B over 2. So, 1 plus 0 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Okay, so what we do now, so we need to find f of a, f of b, and f of c. So we know f of a, which is f of 0, we already find it, so it's minus 1. f of b, f of 1. So f of b is f of 1 which is uh, 1 minus this, so I'll get 0 0.6321. So let's, let's stick to four decimal places for now. Okay, and then uh, what is f of 0 0.5? So we have 0 0.5 squared minus exponent negative 0 0.5. So, it will give you negative 0 0.3565. Remember, you need to have your calculator next to you so that you can evaluate this very quick. Okay, the third step now is to start the iteration. Okay, so we check. F of A multiplied with F of C. So, I have F of A which is F of 0 multiply with F of 0 0.5. So, what do I have? I don't have to actually multiply it. Negative, negative. So, I have a positive which is greater than 0. Now, since it's greater than 0, what we do? The next iteration will be A becomes C, B remain the same. Okay, now we got to continue the iteration. It will be easier if um, with what we have now, what we do is we just um, draw a table. Okay, so let's, um, to be easy, let's draw a table. So let's start with um, So this is my K, K iteration. So I think we need at least um, seven. Okay, so I have my A, B, C, and then F of A, F of B, and F of C. 
Okay. So, the first iteration just now is start from the interval 0 and 1 with my C equals to 0 0.5. Now, I have obtained my A, B and C value where A is minus 1, B is 0 0.6321 and C is negative 0 0.3565. Okay, it's easy to check here. So, we know that FA times FC, negative, negative, greater than 0. So, A becomes C. So, for the second iteration, A value here will become a C. And B value remain the same, 1. Okay, so what we do here, now to find C, a plus B divided by 2. So, 0 0.5 plus 1, 1.5 divided by 2 will be 0 0.75. Okay, now press your calculator for F of 0 0.5, which is this value here, negative 0 0.3565. Now, B remain the same, 0 0.6321. Now, all you got to do is find FC for 0 0.75 okay so we know that um so x squared this is my function x squared minus exponent negative x so for my x is 0 0.75 0 0.75 squared minus exponent negative 0 0.75 so if you press the calculator you will have 0 0.0901 Okay, now the second iteration, the same process, we do that. Fc multiply with Fa. This multiply with this. So, we have a negative value. Now, if, if it is less than 0, A will remain the same. B will become C. Okay, since this is less than 0, okay, meaning that Fa times Fb, Fa times Fc, sorry, is less than 0. So, this is what we got to consider. So, A remain the same. My B will become my C. So, you get this idea. Now, C will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.75 divided by 2. 0 0.6250. So, F of A remain the same. 0 0.3565 f of b changes to c value which is this 0 0.0901 okay why because we know that f of c 0 0.75 is this value so b with 0 0.75 will be my fc now to find fc with 0 0.6250 so put into this equation you will have negative 0 0.1446 okay time to check again the iteration so fa times fc negative times negative is positive positive greater than zero is this one so a becomes c a becomes 0 0.6250 this is my fourth iteration b will remain the same 0 0.75 now, A plus B divided by 2, 0 0.6875. Okay, the rest we got to follow. So, A become my C. So, FC will be negative 0 0.1446. B will be remain the same, 0 0.0901. And FC, F of 0 0.6875, put it into this equation, we will have negative 0 0.0302 okay so we have come to the final iteration the fifth iteration now compare fc times fb again this is greater than zero i'm running out of time here so i'm going to just do it quickly because it's greater than zero a will become c c a will become c b will remain the same c will be a plus b over two and then you, so what is FC? So FC is 0 0.0292 for this value. Okay, so we stop the iteration and this is our...